a police officer goes undercover as an illegal migrant worker who is about to be sent to Japan. Her name is Jane. Her mission is to catch a mafia named Hammer, who owns a human trafficking business. However, in the middle of their operation, Jane's partners are caught by Hammer's men. As the ship is departing soon, Jane decides to do a crazy action, which is to arrest Hammer by herself. Of course Hammer doesn't want to surrender himself, and he instructs his men to get rid of Jane. But that's not happening as Jane is so skilled at fighting. Unfortunately, Hammer suddenly points a gun at her, and it makes her cornered. Surprisingly, Hammer's pimp turns out to be an undercover police officer named Cho. Even though they have successfully arrested Hammer, Cho is not happy because Jane arrested Hammer too early. She is supposed to arrest him when Hammer meets his boss, as his boss is also being targeted by the police. However, Jane still thinks that she did nothing wrong because nobody told her about that plan. On the other hand, the police are planning to arrest a Korean number 2 mafia named Cha and his ex-big boss named Bae. They were partners but they are no longer since Cha decided to repent and agreed to surrender himself to the police. Moreover, Cha was also willing to testify against Bae in exchange for immunity. However, when the police were escorting him, Bae's gangsters attacked their car. Cha managed to run away and the police lost his trust. He is hiding somewhere now and the police must find him because his testimony is needed as evidence to arrest Bay. The police have a plan to find Cha through his only daughter, Hai. They will assign Jane to be a student in Hai's school and try to gain information from her. She refuses at first because she hates school. However, because there is no one else suitable for this mission, she agrees. Jane is finally sent to the school by her uncle who also works as a police. His name is Park. She introduces herself in front of the class, but the way she does it is too formal, just like how the police officers introduce themselves. Her classmates make that a joke and start to bully her. Jane doesn't mind it at first. But when she thinks that they have gone too far, she beats her bullies. From then on, she becomes feared. Moreover, one of her rich classmates pays her to be her bodyguard. During the lunch break, Jane immediately starts her mission to approach her target, Hai. But it turns out that Hai is an antisocial girl and it makes Jane's mission even more difficult. Suddenly, a handsome boy named Young comes to her table. He tells Jane that he is also a new student and from the same class with her. Even though Young is just a high school student, Jane seems to be fascinated by his good looks. On Jane's first day at school, the teacher points her to solve a math problem in front of the class. It's because it's written that she was the top student in her previous school. But it turns out that Jane sucks at math. Luckily she is saved by the school bell. After the school, Jane is brought to her apartment by her partner. Apparently, her apartment is across from High's apartment, so she can monitor her all the time. Jane is also given a note which contains information about High. At night, when she is reading that note, Young appears and surprises her. Apparently, Young lives next door to Jane. On the next day, news breaks that the number one mafia boss in Seoul, Bay, is suspected of being involved in a murder. However, because the police don't have any strong evidence, he is released. The police are now trying harder to find any strong evidence to send him to jail. Meanwhile, Bay is instructing his men to find Cha, his ex-partner. It's because Cha is the key witness to the crimes he has committed all this time. On the other hand, Hai is fighting with the girl gang leader. When Hai is going to be hit, Young comes to save her. Moreover, Jane also sees Young trying to approach Hai. She suspects that there is something between them. When Jane is in the locker room, the girl gang leader whom she beat yesterday approaches her. It turns out that she wants to get revenge. This time she comes with a gang of guys. However, Jane isn't afraid at all. That boy gang leader then challenges her to meet him after school. Meanwhile, Hai is so surprised when she sees her father in the restroom. Apparently, Cha asks Hai to move to another country with him for her own safety, but she refuses it. Jane realizes there is something wrong in the restroom, 
and she breaks into the restroom. However, Cha escaped before she went in. Jane immediately chases him and makes the school gang think that she runs away from them. They chase her, but she is too fast for them. Meanwhile, Jane fails to chase Cha as she loses him. Jane immediately reports to her partners that she just saw Cha. Her uncle, Park, suddenly gives her a brilliant idea to get close with Hai. He is going to send his men undercover as thugs to pretend to harass Hai. After that, Jane will come to save her. By doing that, Jane will earn her trust, and they will be friends. On the next day, Jane is following Hai to carry out the plan. But she is stopped by the school gang because their business isn't finished yet. Though, Jane is in a hurry because Park's men should have already started their action by now. Because they didn't let Jane pass, Jane has to beat them all up and it makes her late. She is surprised when she sees Young fighting those thugs, making her plan a total failure. However, that fight sprained Young's ankle and Jane helped him to take care of his ankle. While doing that, she realizes that Young's watch is broken. At night, Jane can't stop thinking about how cool Young is. Suddenly, Young comes to her room. Jane is so surprised at first, but they end up kissing. Unfortunately, it turns out to be just her dream. The day after, Jane is shocked when she finds out that Cho also goes undercover as a teacher at that school. She complains to her uncle because she doesn't want Cho to interfere with her mission. However, her uncle can't do anything because Cho was assigned by his superior. Meanwhile, Jane's rich classmate sees that Jane is given some money by a man inside a car. That girl doesn't know that the man is Jane's uncle. She suspects that Jane works as a whore. Rumors about it spread quickly in the school and it makes Jane's classmates stay away from her. Hai feels sorry for Jane because Jane doesn't have a friend now, just like her. She finally asks Jane to be friends. Jane is so happy because she is one step closer from her goal now. Long story short, Jane is going to have a math exam. Of course she is so panicked. Fortunately, her uncle has already hired many teachers with different specialties to help her remotely. At first everything goes smoothly, but in the end, Jane is caught and has to be taken to the teacher's room. To make it simple, she and her uncle finally confess that they are police. Meanwhile at night, Hai is surprised after finding a piece of letter on her desk. It turns out that it's from her father, saying that he is going to leave Korea forever. The sad Hai decides to go to Jane's room to cheer herself up. Seeing that her friend is crying, Jane immediately calms her. Hai tells Jane everything and Jane finally finds out that Cha will be at the airport tomorrow. The day after, Jane and her partners are ready at the airport. When they start their mission, Bay's men somehow show up and chase him too. Cha is finally cornered. Suddenly, a mysterious man with a motorbike comes to attract their attention and Cha manages to take advantage of the situation to escape. Before that mysterious man manages to escape, he falls and his watch has slipped off his wrist. That watch reminds Jane of Young's broken watch, and now she suspects Young. When Jane meets Young, she asks him about his watch, but he denies it. On the other hand, Jane asks her partner, Sang, to obtain any information about Young. It turns out that Young also goes undercover as a high school student. It also turns out that he is actually Cha's man who is ordered to protect Hai. Meanwhile, Jane finally confesses to Hai that she is a police officer on a mission to find and arrest her father. As a result, Hai is really disappointed with Jane. One night, Jane gets news that her uncle has been stabbed by someone. She rushes to the hospital, and she is told that her uncle is in critical condition. After returning from the hospital, Sang drives her and Hai back to the police station. Now Hai lives there for her own safety. But their car is suddenly attacked by Bay's men. It turns out that Sang has betrayed them because he needs a lot of money for his wife's treatment. Bay's men suddenly immobilize Jane and bring Hai to their headquarters. They expect Cha to come to their headquarters after knowing that his daughter is kidnapped. Cha finally comes to Bay's headquarters. Bay is so happy and he challenges Cha for a duel. If Cha wins the duel, Bay will give all of his property to him. But if Cha loses, Bay will take his daughter. 
On the other hand, Young suddenly comes to save Jane, and they rush to Bay headquarters to save Cha and Hai. Back to Cha's and Bay's fight. At first Cha manages to knock him down. But one of Bay's gangsters shoots a poison needle at his feet, and it weakens him. Bay takes the opportunity to beat and stab his stomach. Cha is defeated. Soon after that, Jane and Young arrive at that place. Because Bay is escaping, they decide to split up. Jane chases after Bay while Young fights Bay's men. Fortunately, Jane manages to jump to his car and stops him. However, Cho suddenly shows up and puts a gun to her head. It turns out that Cho also betrays them for money. Cho also confesses that he is the one who stabbed her uncle. Hearing that, Jane turns really angry and immediately beats him. On the other hand, Young fights hard to protect Hai and Cha. Luckily, he also successfully knocked out all of Bay's men. The movie comes to an end. Detective Cho and Sang are finally arrested. Miraculously, Cha's life can still be saved. Another good news is, Jane's uncle made it through his critical period and is starting to get better at the hospital. Jane is so happy because her mission is successful and no one died. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.